Hey everyone, this is Eric from LED Grow Lights Devo. Just want to show you this new light we just got in. This is the HLG 65 by Horticulture Lighting Group. Check that out. This is only $99. So great price considering the wattage and efficiency. So this is only 65 watts and it's designed to replace a uh, 100 watts of T5 or 150 watts of CFL. Uh, you can see on the bottom there, there are 120 top bin Samsung 561C S6 diodes. So the S6 bin is the latest, most efficient bin. These are top of the line diodes, actually the most efficient uh, diodes on the market at this time coming in at 2.4 micromoles per joule. Um, this light is designed to cover a two by two area for veg or a two by one area for flower. So it only puts out 156 micromoles per second, which is actually a lot considering the size and wattage draw of this light. Uh, the spectrum is 4,000 K. So anything from about 3,000K to 4,000K you can use for a full cycle grow. Uh, 4,000K is the top of the range there, so there's a little bit more blue than say 3,500 or obviously a 3,000K. Uh, so really good spectrum. This is actually called um, or designed as a veg light, but again, you could use it for flower because that 4,000K spectrum is you know considered ideal for, um, for flower. Um, just a few other specs here, draws 100, or excuse me, uh, the efficiency is 161 lumens per watt for anyone that still likes to uh, talk in lumens, but again, when we talk in LED grow lights, uh, we like to use the par efficacy, which again is 2.4 micromoles per joule. So as you can see, this unit is passively cooled. There's just this thin board here and this driver on top, which by the way is a mean well driver. IP67 and rated for 100 to 240 volts. And you can see that it runs from the wall and plugs in right here on the side. So this is really cool. This is plug and play. So no wiring involved. Um, you know, when you buy this light, you just get the driver and obviously this cord that's connected to it, the board and the hangers. There's only three pieces. So you can plug it in right there, plug it in the wall, and you're ready to go. Also, if you're running several of these, you can buy a separate uh, Y splitter, which will, you know, split this so you can run into two lights. And there's another uh, plug-in right there. So it's pretty convenient. Uh, I just want to note that I've had this light on for like 15 or 20 minutes or so, and it feels a little bit warm. I mean, I could probably keep my hand on it for a while. Um, it gets, you know, I'd say a little hot. Um, I wouldn't want to keep my hand on here for a long time, um, but you know, it's uh, fairly cool for, you know, drawing 65 watts. Uh, running a fan over this might be recommended, but you don't have to. I mean, it's passively cooled, so any sort of air movement in the room um, should suffice. Uh, you could use this light for filling in the spaces between lights. Um, you know, if you're trying to increase your light output in a grow room or a grow tent, also the corners of grow tents or grow areas, which can actually have a little bit less light, uh, this light would be ideal for that. Or you can run several of these in an area, say like a three by three area, and uh, get a decent amount of light for veg or flower. Uh, this light has a three year warranty, just like all of Horticulture Lighting Group's products. Uh, so really good warranty, um, you know, good driver, good board, good product all the way around. So again, only $99. Uh, if you're interested in buying this light, you can click the link in the description and buy it right there. If you have any questions or want to know more about this light, you can email me directly at info at ledgrowlightsdepot.com. And one more thing before I go, just want to take some par readings on this. So right now, the plants are at about 18 inches. So I'll put that right there. It's about 18 inches. 
right around 230 PPFD right in the center. And as I move that around, you can see that it's right around 150. So I'm just moving around the edges here. Oh, it's a little high. So 200. And then way out here. Yeah, about 100. That's not bad, actually, considering I'm probably a foot outside the light. So it's about 75 right there. And one last thing. Just want to measure the par at two feet. So this is two feet directly underneath the light. So 134, not bad. Not bad at all. Then a little bit off to the side here. It's gonna drop out. When using a tent, obviously you're gonna get the reflection from the side of the tent and from the bottom. I have a tray in here right now, so I'm not getting any reflection from the bottom. But uh, yeah, I mean, not bad for increasing your light output and uh, gaps or just to use this as uh, a light for seedlings or vegging a small area or even flowering. I'm a small plant, so this light will do it. All right, again, let me know what you think about the light. Any questions, feel free to email me, and I will see you later.